this is Swanette from Nell Stand for Fun. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to create this simple beach inspired manicure and we'll be using the new plates from Bundle Monster. This is their 2014 Sun Kiss collection and we'll be using plate 503 for the starfish and 504, I mean 505, sorry, for the sand dollars. Okay, this is a basic um, nail stamping manicure so I want to go over some quick tips for you guys especially to all my friends who are starting to nail stamp and I hope you guys enjoy the video first I applied my favorite base coat which is duty rejuva coat and then I applied my base coat this is from orally it's called sweet peacock and it's a gorgeous blue metallic blue now Rule number one, when you apply your base color, you should wait until it completely dries, all right? It has to be completely dry before nail stamping. If you want to hurry it up a bit, well, you can apply your favorite fast drying top coat, okay? And that will help it speed up a bit. Once your nail is completely dry, we're going to begin to stamp, all right? And uh, here I am going to use... One of my favorite silver that's from Essie and it's called No Place Like Chrome. If you have this collection, this metallic collection from Essie, they all stamp beautiful. Okay, so if you have this in your stash, you should take them out and use them for nail stamping. Now remember, if you don't have that silver, Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Silver Sweet works great too. I just want to finish this up because as you see I just have a little bit left. And now we're going to stamp. Okay let's get ready to stamp. Remember when you're going to stamp get all your tools alright. Be prepared. Get your polish, get your stamper, your scraper, your tape to clean your stamper, your cotton ball and acetone to clean the plates. This is a cotton cloth from Sally's Beauty Supply but you can use a clothing pin or uh, some kind of clip to clean up your plates and we begin. The big tip I can give you guys is that you have to be quick. Okay, It's very very important to be quick especially when you're using regular nail polishes. When swiping you should swipe lightly but quickly. There's the word again. You have to be quick. Um, if you scrape too hard you might remove polish from the image and you don't want that. So the lighter the better. And it does take practice but don't give up you guys. And let's begin. So we apply the polish onto the plate and we gently swipe. We pick up, there we have them, and we stamp. Try stamping in different um, directions, I want to say, until you find which is the best way for you to stamp. Okay, You can take the stamper like this, or you can place the stamper facing you, that way you can see what you're stamping. Um, you can roll, oh, roll from side to side or you can push on the stamper. Practice them all you guys and look for the method that's right for you because that's very important. We should look what's right for us, okay? It's going to take you time but you will figure it out. Let's continue to stamp. Okay, gently swipe. Pick up. And stamp. Okay. I usually roll because I'm used to it. I guess because I started with a Conat stamper. But I stamp either way or rolling or pushing it on.
I'm going to take off the stamper because I want to expand it for my nails. So I'm just going to expand it, pinching it in the back, and roll on. Okay. If anything is lifting, oops, I got a little piece of something else stuck on. Just carefully try to remove it and push anything that is lifted. Okay, and there you go. Now using plate five and then in five you're gonna play this we're gonna place the sand dollars on my ring finger and we're gonna do the same. Apply your polish on the stamper. Gently swipe, pick up, check, and apply it to your nail. Stamping does take time, you guys, to learn, but don't give up. The important thing is to have fun, all right? And there we have everything stamped. So the last step would be to apply your top coat and to clean up. When applying a top coat, remember to be generous, okay? You want to grab a lot on the brush. I don't know if you can see. I grabbed too much there, but at least to have a big ball of top coat on your brush. And when you apply that to your nail, you have to be quickly. And don't apply too much pressure. Try not to apply pressure. Just place the brush on the nail and swipe. Apply, okay? Apply no pressure. Because if you apply pressure, you are going to smear the design, and you don't want that. Now, if you see anything it's missing, you know, you need more top coat, wait until it completely dries, and apply a second coat, all right? Try not to go over the same area twice. And there we go. I am going to clean up. Cleaning up is very easy, you guys. All you need is a small detail brush dipped in acetone, and you'll clean up. Right now, I don't even know what's brush, <laughs> but I'm going to clean up and I'll be back. Okay. And here's the final result. It's a cute and simple manicure. These images will look great over any color you choose. If you still have anything left over from the stamping on your nails, don't worry, because you can always wash your hands after your nails have completely dried. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please take care and happy stamping. Bye. <music>